a really interesting piece of rock. I'm going to tap this and show you what it's all about shortly. Look at that. There's the impression of the ammonite both sides. Welcome, I'm out west of Lyme Regis, fossil hunting today, and look at this lovely fossil sea urchin that I picked up, preserved in Chalcedony on one side. Let's just wet it. Wow, look at that. Look at the lovely fossil preservation in that Cretaceous sea urchin. Lime Bay Agate, Calcedony, a heart-shaped yeah, So Look at that lovely preservation of that fossil. Can you spot the fossil on the beach? It's a bit bleached by the sun. A fossil shell there in Flint Rock. I'm gonna tap this limestone rock with my safety glasses on using this chisel to tap away at that ammonite there. It looks like it's been eroded by water percolating through the rock and eroding the calcite ammonite out and leaving the impression of the ammonite it looks like. The calcite ammonite is completely eroded away. that there's the impression of the ammonite both sides and erosional forces have taken away the calcite ammonite in the middle well I've just sat down to have some lunch now the old cost of living crisis clearance sandwich and uh, it doesn't look too rough and you can hear the sea lapping gently in the background there so uh, follow me and let's see what we can get fossil hunting boys after lunch. Well something I'd really like to get hold of again is the agatized and silicified fossil wood and you can see this piece here that I found with those lovely striations there. Have a look here on the beach. People think these are fossils. This is a bit of chert rock, and that's in fact a conchoidal fracture pattern. Well, not such a happy stone face out on the beach today. You can see the beach was quite high up at one stage here, those pebbles there all aggregated together. But now it's eroded away the beach area and the ledges are exposed. Here's some fossils. They're not ammonites, they're rochellaria. Look at this erosion here, all the shell creatures, the piddocks nibbling away at the rocks. Always a beautiful sight to see this large ammonite on the beach. There has been a bit of cliff collapse there by the moss waterfall. The seashore is a beautiful color today around here in Pinay Bay. Look at that block there of fossiliferous material, ammonites, fossil shells. That's a big tree there that must have washed up in the stormy weather of the winter months round here in Pinay Bay, I am, today. 
The sea's really settling down now. There's some lovely clarity there in the water around in Pinay Bay. Well, I've had some people saying to me that they haven't found any fossils along the Jurassic coast. And if you think about it, kids do better because they're closer to the ground. They've got better eyesight and their concentration levels are boundless when they're really happy doing something. So I think you should take some advice there. Get out at low tide, look for some fossils and try and get a bit closer to the ground looking for the fossils, trying to really focus in on the rocks, on the beach and see what you can pick up. A bit of fossilized wood, monkey puzzle tree from the Jurassic period there on that limestone block. A really nice big ammonite here on this limestone block. Big impression of an ammonite, Areatites bucklandi. Stay away from the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Look how dangerous those limestone layers are. Very fragmentary there. So keep away from the cliffs. The best fossils are washed out by the sea's actions onto the shoreline. The sea doing the work for you, washing the fossils onto the beaches. There's some nice suture patterns on this ammonite here, you can see. Let's just focus in on the end of the chamber. Another fossil sea urchin here, preserved in flint rock. Not in good shape, too many holes in that rock. Let's just wet it and see if I get any better resolution there. Nothing really going on with that sea urchin. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll get some more fossil collecting videos up and on on YouTube very shortly. Thanks for watching and please leave your comments down below.